Hello. Thank you for waiting. Um, we are back with some Outlast 2. Blind. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, unfreeze everybody here. Get our ducks in a row. Bring in some game sound. Is that too loud? It looks okay. This game also has weird loud spikes as well. Yeah. So you know what? I'm gonna lower it down to calibrate as time goes, I think. Yeah, it just it just spiked into the red. I think I'm gonna lower it to 60 there. Maybe even 50. I want you to hear the ambience. Let's do 60, and if it's too loud, I'll, I'll lower it again. <laughs> now, what's everybody's experience with this game? Aaron, <laughs> sounds like you've played both entries in the series? Yeah, I played part one, loved it. One of my favorite horror games. Top really? near the top of the list. Part two feels just as claustrophobic, even though it's outdoors, and I just I didn't like it, so I quit part way in. Okay. I got frustrated because it it felt like another one of those games where it was like you had to you had to run away from the thing, and then mm -hmm. you went the wrong way, and so you die, and then you got to figure out what the predestined running route is by dying over and over, and I was just like, I'm not gonna play that. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Andrew, uh, and, and any, the first game was a masterpiece, yeah. Any, uh, do you ever dip your foot in the Outlast pool? I played Outlast 1. I, I made a couple of videos about it. I never ended up finishing it. I, I'm kind of on the same board with Aaron where I think Outlast 1 is really good. Um, I think the DLC for Outlast 1 Whistleblower <clears throat> might have some of the most like tense, uncomfortable sequences I've ever had in a horror game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, two, I've seen... I've never played it myself. I've seen bits and pieces of. Um, as I was saying to Aaron, one of Red Barrels' things that they've done really well is creating really photo realistic environments and outlast mm. 2 step that up from outlast 1 oh yeah visually it's very impressive um my experience um i i played outlast 1 and i i i couldn't really get into it it, it kind of felt like mm. more of um okay you're in a dark room with a crazy guy, and then once you finish how to navigate that, you're in a different room with a different crazy guy, and it's like that over and over and over again. <laughs> and granted, I only played a, an hour or two in, um, and then this game, I uh, I think I did a two-hour stream with Blake like four fucking ever ago, and uh, <laughs> it was it was the same thing. Uh, you're being chased, uh, navigate this little village, but. Um, the environment mix-up was nice, so I'm interested to give this a try, uh, see what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> life simulator, dude. You ever oh, realize yeah. that life could be kind of insane? Intense. Sexual content? Yeah. yeah a little bit. Uh, I think it's fine. Yeah, I don't think there's anything you can't do, but there's some... Is there a penis? There was nudity in the first game, but I mean, it was like, and, you know... And in this one. It wasn't a and feature. in this one. Yeah. I saw a penis in the first game, I said, whoop! Mm -hmm. Yeah, those two guys. <laughs> the boys. The twins. The boys. He's here! He's here! <laughs> Jesus, Blake, are you really sleeping? I'm awake. You should have slept last night. Oh, I had to get that hospital footage organized. Just slept last night. Some other woman's name. What? In your sleep, Jessica, I think. <laughs> Ooh. You know a Jessica? Oh, uh, no, <coughs> no. I mean, I was dreaming about Jessica Gray from when we were kids. Oh yeah. I haven't thought about her in ages. Hey, we're crossing into. 
reservation land now. You said I'm looking for some sort of factory? Yeah. We can look, but there's nothing out here. It does look pretty empty. All the mercury in that woman's blood. Yeah, I was dreaming about like another woman and she's like prettier than you and nicer than you. She really played it like nice to me and <laughs> she doesn't she never yells at me. <laughs> she kisses my boo-boos. I will say, this is a great way to introduce camera why does your character have a camera. Audio's gonna be crap. We'll have to- Whoa! What the fuck? Fuck! Sorry about that. My panel's a little soft, but uh, well, we're good! Oh, that was exciting. Get as much of the landscape behind me as you can. You got me? Yeah, we're good. Hum, hum. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Have a soup high. Have a soup high. <laughs> okay. I'm Lynn <laughs> here for newstomorrow.net. We're flying past the Have a Soup High Indian Reservation in, <laughs> in search of the origins of murder victims. Hey, Lynn, um, oh, this guy's a great cameraman. We don't know that. Oh, I'll say she strangled herself to death. That's what the police report says. We may play this before the doctor interviews. If this falls on the first 30, we need to get the word murder in there. We should probably mention the fetus, too. I mean, how it just... Here, let me try a version that can serve as an intro for the whole piece. Tell me when we're good. Okay. We're good. I hope they play this at the end of the credits or something. <laughs> what are your pores, dude? That's crazy. Oh fuck! Wait, what? Oh my god. He's got those Call of Duty reflexes. Got her. Jesus Christ. Oh, you ever watch Castaway where the fucking plane crash scene? Oh, yeah. Still fucks me up. I don't this know about this, real. Mr. White. I don't know about this, Mr. White. Oh. God's watching. I don't know about this, Mr. White. No uh oh, penis. what happened? Dickless. Did we lose Andrew? <laughs> Andrew! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the cat is all messed up. Where am I? <laughs> uh, there intermission, I am intermission. On video vomit stream. I just, I just gotta. We're playing clown music now. Don't worry, uh. <laughs> Damn. Oh no. We just got into it. Maybe losing connection here. In a sec. Oh. Is that, is that what it is? To that, yeah. Alright, we'll take a little. <laughs> well, we'll do a quick break.
Ooh. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Connection to uh, technical difficulties. Mm. Alright, we're following mm. the school man to the s place in the school. Look, there's Andrew. Mm -hmm. And there's Aaron. Look at those textures. You you can really read. You can actually use that as a map, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use that next time I travel. I'll know which highway. Is <laughs> yeah, you're going to boot up uh, Atlas, Atlas 2. two. <laughs> boot up on my Steam Deck and <laughs> put it on the dash. Listen, Google's not enough. You can't find a map on Google. And we're going to no, use man. Outlast 2 instead. Can you, Listen, I'm going to be a boomer here. Can you really trust Google? Do they really get the Can you really right trust Google? Every time? That's At least Out Outlast 2 did their own research. Uh, uh, Look, they got Pat Markers. That is crazy, the texture wow, on that. yeah. That's there's oh, a dust, that paper? Aaron. No, we don't a, have the camera. Yes, you can. See, if we had the camera, you could Look, probably that's a multiple zoom in choice. actually read Question. that. Look, yeah, there's like a layer of dust. There's a dust layer. Wow, you can actually see your feet. I am a man going to That's school. another thing this game really sells, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a mod for Left 4 Dead that lets you see your feet. <laughs> Honestly, first person <laughs> I have on there. It helps with some of the feet. platforming. Blood. We're not alone here. Oof. Okay. Alright. Gulp. I wish I was alone here. Gulp. 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 Was that a dream? He was dreaming of Jessica. Man, if Jessica can see me now. This guy also has Quick time events. So. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> but like, why am I in this town? <laughs> you know what's a good topic to talk about? Did you see? <laughs> oh my god! Fuck! Did you see uh, Ghostface in mm -hmm. Call of Duty, the new one? Yeah, yeah, like in Warzone or what? There Warzone. is a there is a game mode where it actually sounds pretty cool. There's a game mode, to my understanding, where you have um, a handful of players, with normal guns and stuff, and then there's one player who doesn't make noise, is dressed it, Ghostface doesn't make noise. He's twice as fast, but all he has is the knife, <laughs> and uh, and I think he's quiet too. And yeah. after you get a kill. That game mode by itself sounds really fun. Sounds yeah. fun as hell. The game the, after you get a kill, Ghostface <laughs> goes more where that came from, or let's see what your insides look like. <laughs> oh, just my God. just stupid mm. fucking cringy stuff like that. And it's like. What a great way to kill a cool character. But it's, <laughs> man, oh man, when he said more where that came from, dude, I was fucking clenching. He was so cool in my seat. No, that's a great way to kill a fucking already existing cool character. Like, ugh. I should have thought well, that, that, that game type of, like, uh... Everybody else has normal uh, COD loadouts, and then one person is just like speedier with a knife. Um, mm. I think it started in Call of Duty Ghost was the first one. I think. Oh, so you have to be recording, or? It's better to record, yeah. Because because you see the thing filling, you're supposed to record this moment. Yeah. Oh, the burning Jesus. helicopter. So now you can no yeah. read the lore about the moment or whatever. Lynn! That's pretty cool. Lynn! Yeah, so uh, I cringe when people are playing the first game and I'm watching streams and they're not recording the moments because that's how you get the lore. Mm. Mm. And you miss out on yeah, stuff. Yeah, or if he, he'll he look at stuff and make like... Uh, I, what was the name of the first guy, the guy in the first game? Whoa. Visual effects are cool. Mm. Earthy or something, something, something a name kind of like that. I, I can't think of it. I missed it. How do you turn night vision on? F, I believe. Sweet. Yeah. That it's a uses replacement battery. for your flashlight. Does this See. use for battery? No, it's his okay. name. Just night vision. Miles. 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 Miles up, sure. Oh, oh, journalist. Body. No, come on. That is 
not happen in the crash. Yes, it did. He what landed perfectly. <laughs> I don't know why it's got to have that loading thing. Uh, that it seems a long time to look at something. There you go. In the first game, it just made like a sound yeah. whenever you looked at something, and it did yeah. very quickly. Hmm. Well, and I think it would be like a little scratching sound, and then you'd pull up his notebook and look yeah. at the notebook. Scribbling in the notebook, yeah. Yeah, this game be dark. <laughs> Good. Yeah. At the time of recording this, um, the new DVD killer, The Dredge, just came out, and uh, a lot of people are like, it's too dark during nighttime mode. <laughs> Where I think that is. Uh, Actually, fine. <laughs> it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It show you how to zoom in and out yet? Oh, oh yeah, yeah there it is. I was zooming in on those uh, on our mouth, on the lips. Remember? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! I was making history. And yes, yeah, space the vault. Hello? I'm lost and hurt. Wow, Church. damn. Where's everybody going? Bingo? Bingo? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the remake of that game is going to change the tone into being more serious? Yeah, I do. Completely. Yeah, probably. Um, Leon's quippy and he's silly and... Uh, yeah. You're small time, Sadler. About that beer I owed you. Your right hand comes off. He knew a good bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a man. For a man. man. See, this is uh, this is pretty effective. Mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah, it just looks so real that it's. Hello. Uh. Ah. Oh hi. <laughs> All right, see ya. Wait, what's your name? I'm lost and hurt. <laughs> and yeah, you can hide in the barrel. Oh, Marge. <laughs> what a nice painting, yeah. Cool. Marge. We just kept God fearing Christians here. This is our village. <laughs> Voice acting is pretty fucking good, actually. Oh yeah. To open windows. What's so bone chilling about the ah, about bird. the games in this series? A space while moving towards an Oh. Game is dark, dude. How many batteries mm -hmm. do I have left? Eight. Oh yeah, I guess they I guess they want to encourage you to use the camera like all the time. How many batteries I have? Uh, there's one there to pick up. Doesn't say how many I don't know if it how many batteries yeah, you have on the menu or something. Find Lynn. Nothing matters but Lynn. Wait. Ah, uh, there it is. Yeah, you had to look at your That's bandage. Chest. This is fucking down. alone in the dark. <laughs> alone in the dark had a uh, had an inventory system just like this where it, oh let me uh let me open up my coat. But it also showed your damage, uh, your, like where you got hurt. Hmm. So like you would have wounds on your jacket and the way to heal was a, uh, it's like a first aid spray, right? So you'd have this gaping wound on your arm and then you would be like, Ugh. Ugh. and it looks like someone put pieces of ham on your fucking brown. <laughs> oh man, I was doing that with the, the fucking flashlight just on, just chilling. Crawls through the thing. I want to turn mm. the flashlight off, but hey, dark. Satanus inibicante. Satan, something. God. There's a little alien Absolute. over here. The alien man. <laughs> Oh, nice. that was him PUing. Get out of here, flies. There's a note. Photo taken. Press tab to review it. 
Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Midwife's lament. The babe is coming. Ready the knife. The babe is coming. Knight's midwife. Mother to the enemy, stained within. God's creation, saved with sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What? Is- Where are we? Uh, Outlast two. Baby. Babies. Come on, baby. Baby. Come on, baby. Walking horse. Come on, pig. Old baby head, man. Cool. You're a loser. (laughs) You feeling sorry for yourself? Yeah, so here's where we get into I can't crawl. Uh, the guys that can come after you. I think. Oh, yeah. My foul seed. My foul seed. Hello? Hello? Come on, God. Come on, man. I'm lost and hurt. You can't see me. You got a bird on your head. You can't see me. Whoa. <laughs> Crawl under there. I can't see shit. Under where, Andrew? God damn it. Right there. Oh, there. Whoa. Can't come in here. You're a bird. Saving. Hup. Hup. Maybe I just gonna move it out of the way just a little bit. Uh, Jump on it? Where am I supposed to go? Yeah, I think you have to climb up. I want to say. Or maybe you move it over to that ladder that's uh, partially broken. That'd be my guess. That's just a guess from little old me. Up, up. This is fucking cool, man. Oh no! Ouch! Do I have a health bar in this, or? Oh, I guess there's bands in uh, this, right? Yeah, I can't remember how checking your health works. Yeah. Yeah, she's got these giant pickaxes or weapon. <laughs> Night vision's way more effective than the flashlight, I think. In if you're trying to scare someone. Mm. Yeah, because you can make things aggressively dark. Yeah, it just your camera's equipped with a microphone. Press V to hear through walls and attract sounds. Interesting. Ooh. Yeah. That's so a cool. This, let you this is amazing! Move. All these features move are cool as hell. Mm-hmm. Watch out. Hey. Hey. Boys. Ooh, that's yeah. glowy eyes, though. Night like vision. Yeah, so this is your first sneaking challenge. How good are you at stealth games, eh, boy? Boomer stealth. stealth yeah. Game. They call it boomer <laughs> stealth. <laughs> Go hide in that barrel there, boy. Everybody's got an uncle that's like this guy. Hide me in his seat, is that what it said? <laughs> <laughs> what? Real shit. We're just quoting the Bible and singing some hymns. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> With our machetes out. <laughs> uh, Colts are fucking scary. Do you still want to live in the South? <laughs> Aaron, we got to get you out of there. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, crawl under the outhouse, yeah. Place guy. I hear there's good stuff under there. <laughs> yeah, they'll never find you there. They'll never look. That's for sure. Just a thing to grab. By yeah, just slam the door. That's good. Yeah, That's probably good. <laughs> Give you that go door control. Close my damn finger. <laughs> Look, they oh, use the same kind of batteries I need for my fucking camera. <laughs> He's gonna be so pissed when you steal his batteries out. Dude, it's totally all he has. He, does he doesn't even have a bathroom, but he's got the same kind of batteries I use. <laughs> Little AM radio. He was so excited to come home from work. And play with his battery, but oh yeah. Gotcha. Also, night vision lends itself really nicely to stealth because only the only the person can see it. Like if I was waving a flashlight around, the enemy would notice it. Oh, this yeah. is definitely not gonna work. He's gonna turn around. See. Oh, because this is like the first guy, right? And you're playing on uh, normal difficulty, correct? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, when light hits you, ugh. Run. What the fuck was that? Daddy. Daddy, help. Hey, boys. Oh, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. Throw the thing. Stop. <laughs> Time to go. Who do you hate this world? You hate my world? There it is. Yeah. Nice. God said to Moses, I am what I am. Look, it's the logo. That's pretty cool. We cannot only try to be like Jesus. We need to be like God. Link. That's that's a really cool way of uh putting something in your file. <laughs> Yeah. That's really effective. You guys don't like this? Um... <laughs> no, that's cool. Yeah, I think there's a lot of cool parts in this game. I think it's the linearity of it that's kind of the downside. Yeah. There's Lynn. My wife. Because the asylum was linear, but that was a good thing, because it was like, well, it's it's indoors, it's... Things are blocked off. Well, if they're both linear... Wouldn't you, wouldn't you favor the one with the more interesting locations? Is that my, oh, I thought that was my I, I wife. Well, outdoors shouldn't be linear, though. That, that's the thing, is that that's we thought point. it wasn't going to be linear. And I like linear was. games a lot. Yeah. Open world. If I hear something's open world, I'm very skeptical because I don't particularly um, usually <laughs> like open world stuff. That's kind of like Resident Evil Village. Oh. It's it's not super linear, but it it works. Right. I I think more of a hub world. Yeah. I think games that are open ended are yeah. the sweet spot. Especially for horror, gives you a little bit of options of where to run and where to hide. Yeah. But when it's super linear like this, you you only have like one or two options. Right. Mm. Until you figure out the right one, I see what you're saying. Yeah. And that's frustrating. I don't want to sit here and get game overs all day. I want to play the game. Yeah, because then, well, and also, it stops being scary and starts being annoying. Frustrating, yeah. Mm -hmm. like that's, that's what happened with this game. Um, as much as I love something like Alien Isolation, that's the thing that holds me back on it some of the times, where it's yeah, just like, all right, replayed it, yeah. Time to like beat my head against the wall to try and get past this part. 
Yeah. That's a dope game, but yeah, it is another one of those games. Whoa. Because they got it right. I mean, they got the visuals and the, you know, the Holy audio, shit. everything. That's awesome. Yeah. Fuck. Uh oh. Is that Lynn? Oh, oh no. It is. There she is. Let's take a little picture. Go get her. Huh. Oh God, Blake. Are you okay? No. What the fuck? I don't know. Oh shit. Hey, we have to run. Outsider. Hey. hey! Outsiders. <laughs> run. And go. Woo. Lynn, where are we going? Away from here. Anywhere but here. We're going to Disney World. She could just see in the dark like this. What is it? My stomach. It hurts. Something's wrong. Fuck. They put bugs in her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they put a bug in her. Boy. Christ, Lynn. What's happening here? I you were dead. When you fell, I thought we were all dead. It's okay. I'm here. We're gonna get out of here, okay? God. What did they do to you? I, I can't talk about it. Lynn. What does that mean? Is your stomach okay? Please don't ask Not me. good. After all these years, They're coming. After all They're coming. Oh, I can look behind me. Mm. Yeah, Outlast One added uh, it has a child in her to like sprint one direction and then look behind you as you're doing it. Yeah. Was she pregnant before? So is that my baby or is that I didn't know they cursed in this game. Jesus Christ, that's scary. The fuck was that? God. She's licking me and smelling me. Yes, my love. Oh. We have mother. I think I'll see you again. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, this This one had some really weird tone stuff to it. Yeah. Oh, shit. One Man. was much more of like an investigation. <laughs> this one, again, cult shit. Yeah, cult shit. Yeah. Cult shit's scary, dude. Don't don't let anybody tell you cult Jesus. shit ain't scary, folks. God. Fuck, were they? they called them. So they took Lynn this way. They called Lynn mother. It's not just the cult. It's, it's two sides. Christians and. Something else. You can just call it Satanism. Like, that's probably what it is. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you can crouch underwater to drown yourself. <laughs> <laughs> He's just holding the camera up above his head. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, I've seen you. Uh oh. Shit. Do I run there? I can't fight, right? Mm, no, fight. no fighting. No fighting. It would be cool if the third game introduces <laughs> fighting. That would be a unique experience. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Good dodge. He's a fast runner. Dude, they really sell the sensation of being chased. Yeah, they do. That's what makes these games really good. Sadly, you have a exhaustion meter. See, here's here's my frustration right there. <laughs> yeah, they doing? always put like a down tree or a rock or. They, I don't know what I'm supposed to jump over or what I'm supposed to just uh, yeah. flat out avoid. And then also, like I, I'm really not a fan of insta kills in horror games. Yeah, mm. I find them really like. Do I have to go this way? Come here. I think you. Do because Lynn went back this way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> See that like clump? That's... that's like wet on the screen. <sighs> Even the Evil Within had some insta kills in the first game. It did, and I found that so frustrating. It did. Yeah. Like if I die in a game, I want it to be because of I, you know, my skill or something. Yeah, you've made you've made a wrong dis wrong decision and yeah. um like you didn't have enough healing supplies and stuff yeah didn't have enough ammo chose the wrong place to hide whatever yeah. and i also like it's i'm also more of a fan of like if problem in horror game is presented to me i want the option of pull out some sort of weapon and deal with problem <laughs> yeah. Rather than run and hide. Yeah. Yeah, the run and hide trope has gotten old. It it was fresh when Outlast was here, the first one, but now there's now it's just like all horror is anymore. And even before Outlast there was amnesia. <laughs> which really like ground down of like, hey, run and hide or you'll go insane. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get that they want to give you the feeling of power, powerlessness, because that's really scary. Yeah. But, but maybe it's like they don't need to give you the ability to kill people, but to just like hit them, knock them back. A, a shove, yeah. That would work for a game like this without like killing the the tension of, hey, you're powerless because you're being chased by rednecks with weapons. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> If you could at least just like knock them down, mm -hmm. knock them out, whatever. Yeah. Go away. But not necessarily be able to clear the room, you know, and then just walk away and turn it into exactly. Batman. Well, and if you give a player a weapon, mm -hmm. how you keep the tension there is you make ammo scarce. Yeah. Condemned. Oh my god, think about Condemned. Oh my god, I want to play so Condemned. Good. Shit was so scary good. as hell. I love that game. Breakable weapons and then ammo so scarce. Yep. Never seen a game with, with such little ammo. 
Such a good game. How does this Dude, game compensate rounds. with? Enjoy the game, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what? You literally check your ammo by pulling the clip out of the gun to go, how many bullets I got left? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that game was traumatic. Mm -hmm. Holy sweet, Lois. It's a shame that Kendem 2 is a little hard to play at this point in time. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, there's no PC port of it. Fucking might. Do they have Condemned One available? Yes. Oh, yeah. it's on Steam. Oh, Condemned yeah. Two, PC, you have to emulate PC PS3. Great. Yeah. Would render. I got that. Oh, I do have a camera here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this game also does a whole bunch of time anomaly stuff where, again, you are mad that, with amnesia with a, a broken past. I'm sorry I have to do this. <laughs> you should have loved me. You should have helped me. Jesus, forgive me. I don't know what to do. I'm so, so sorry, Jessica. I remember this. Hmm. I also remember the monster that's in this sequence. <laughs> oh. Man, I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. They can hear you. Okay. Yeah, Condemned, Condemned 1 is really good. Condemned 2... Condemned 2 is so annoying because it's another one of those monolith things where... <laughs> Condemned 2 has some really cool mechanics and some really good sequences, but it also starts to fall apart in the writing. Like, it stops making sense. It's the same problem that the Fear games have. Whereas Fear goes on, there's some cool mechanic stuff that happens, but the writing just falls apart. I can't even think of, like, how it ended. I know I played it, but... Ugh. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'd love to, to, like, meet some of the people that wrote, like, um, Condemned 2 and, like, Fear 2 and 3 and go, like, so what was the plan here? Like, you had something you really storyboard this shit. good, but, like, who whose idea was this? Like, who, <laughs> who, said, who said this was a good idea? like an English teacher, man. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> like, what are you doing? I don't know. Absolutely. Yo. I remember the multiplayer. I remember the deathmatch, but I don't remember this mode. Multiplayer? Crime scene. Another game type putting SCU agents against influence. Influence must hide two cases of evidence while the SCU agents must use their equipment to find and scan it before time runs out. I didn't even know Condemned 2 had multiplayer. What? Yeah. That's crazy. Bum rush. SCU cannot respond but get to use guns. They have more health and kill with one shot or melee. And must last as long as possible against the bums. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, what a weird thing. That's the other thing. Oh, there's a man. A man. Let's go see the man. Go see the man. Hello, man. Uh, man, that's the earthquake, man. That's cool. Boy, that out of focus effect was really good. Go I'm leaving on. fourth grade. I'm leaving it. Why do I look like a fucking time splitter? What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? It's, it's like a solid wall out of it. The trailer like for Time Splitters right. 3. <laughs> you have to it's buy Canada Condemned on a and Tuesday then... afternoon. Um, what? It's Canada on a Tuesday afternoon. Oh, no. What are you doing with that ass out on a Tuesday afternoon? I don't know the. However, he said. <laughs> Man, it's like Catholics versus, uh, <laughs> Facebook people who believe in the healing power of aged urine. <laughs> oh my god. There he is. Catholics versus crystal he healers. 
Yeah. Oh, they killed you, didn't they? Yeah. No. Dude, you wouldn't believe it. I was in fourth grade, and then Jessica, and the, well, the blurry man out. came. <laughs> yeah, would you guys still be my friend if I was blurry? <laughs> my name is Ethan. But I mean, are you one of them? And which side are you on? You mean why ain't I trying to kill you? I've been. I've been using aged urine for about three See, years now. To keep the faith. But you're not one of those <laughs> other ones. The, the, the heretics. Part of the urine therapy call. cast out. What? I'm part of the urine therapy cult. It's not a cult, dude. It's a healing group. <laughs> Say one more thing like that and you're kicked out. <laughs> oh my god. was my antichrist and I had to slit her belly and kill the child. Gave her a chance to run. Spun them in here some stories. I've been gifted with talk my whole life. You probably noticed. I'm pretty good know. at it. Sorry. Your daughter. She was eight months pregnant. Blonde hair, cut like a boy's. Yeah. Well, what do you know? You seen her? She licked it's my why face. We came here. Is she all right? Please, Mister, just tell me she's okay. She's fine. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Thank that God takes up camera. Come Let on. me in. Get you inside. Let me record this interview. <laughs> That's my really podcast. Cool. That's gonna be a headache. I'll be okay. And they're really selling it with the concussion here. Yeah, I know. It, it's effective. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Yeah, and it looks Sorry. the effect itself looks really good too. Here, I'll keep you safe. Yeah, that's here, the problem. Have some beef jerky. Ethan's gonna treat you right. Bandages? Oh. How can I not? I'm full. Yes, you're full. Oh, you. Time to sleep. You can sleep. Mm -hmm. <gasps> sleep. Sleep. Press off to sleep. Did I imagine <laughs> it was that easy? Oh my god. Imagine it was that easy to sleep. Just press F. Imagine it was easy, oh, that I easy to pay respect. Take that, take that in a heartbeat. Press F to pay respect. I can't believe that's fucking real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> press F to pay respect. <laughs> oh my god. Why is that I so funny that, like, that that's real? Every, like, that's the only thing that game is remembered for. <laughs> yeah. And it was trying to really? be so genuine. Righteousness cannot pass in blood by lines, but the blood of your heart. I can't pop his gospel. I can't bet him a hundred times. If I knew where the outside yeah, was. Yeah, there she is, pickaxe lady. Finding the devil's whore I'm over body. here. No I'm over here. Even now, other heretics at chapel. Come on. God will guide you. I ain't a heretic. I'm down here. Come on now. You sin when you denied the prophet, your daughter. You sin since to deny. Please, please just let me talk to now. No, the outsider is. No, his seed begat the enemy. God and the prophet both. Just let me talk to you now. I can explain. No. Hmm. I wonder. Yikes. I wonder if that whining sound that we hear in the soundtrack there. Um, I I was watching a video. I don't know if I shared it shared it in gaming or not. Um, there, there's a video of how they made all the sounds for Halo Infinite. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Um, that shit's so they, interesting. They showed off one thing in there, which is using dry ice against piano strings and the horrific sound it makes when Whoa, you do really? it. <laughs> it's so scary. Damn. 
Yeah, that does kind of sound. Man, that must be such a fun job. Oh, Foley work's got to be like the most fun thing in the yeah, world. Yeah, you just got to you just get to experiment. Yeah, and get to learn like what things like. Thank you. All these little sounds that you don't think about in your normal life because yeah, it's just like oh, that's a cool sound. Um. One of the first experiences I had with that was the Museum of the Moving Image in New York when I, um, I think we went to a field trip over there. And uh, there was a section of the Titanic. It played a little video of the Titanic and you listened with headphones and it was like, it played it without sound effects and then it added the sound effects uh -huh. in and then it was like, can you tell what the sound effect was? And it was actually... Yeah, what was it made of? It was the pillar of the boat falling into the water, but they actually used an elephant, um, like, neighing? I don't know what elephants do. Whoa. Yeah, it was like, and it was like, slowed down, but, I mean, you watch that, and it, and your brain's never heard a tanker of a ship fall down like that, so, an elephant neighing slowed down, like, um, kind of fits. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think my one of my all-time favorites is um, uh, Carry on. the blaster sounds in Star Wars are literally just the long metal cables that attach power, like the big power poles to the ground. Those guide wire cables, you just tap a stone on different lengths of it, and you get the blaster sounds. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. No, no, it's locked. Lock up your daughters! <laughs> oh, fucking Christ! Uh oh, I was like, oh, a nice little bonfire. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. little, uh, little bonfire. Finally, I could there get warm. <laughs> I could get That's so cold out here. That's a little uh, Elden Ring reference. Oh. oh, I think this is where we played up to. No, a little bit past that. Mm -hmm. The microphone shit is cool. A microphone. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Was that yeah. the first one? No. I don't think it was. No. There she is. Yeah, she's dragging somebody with the pickaxe. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna get the. Yeah. Okay. Guy with amnesia, pyramid head, running around, dragging people. God, I hope they don't put a fucking pyramid head in the new Silent Hill. <laughs> yeah. Like, here's my question. Would you take it if there was, like, not pyramid head, but basically a creature that is sort of similar stature with big weapon? They did that already. And it's it's just pyramid head. They did that with the boogeyman in Downpour, and they did that with the butcher right. in the Origins. It's it's just pyramid head. They're all the okay. same. Now is it less annoying than just pyramid head again? Did you just get damaged by touching a cactus? Yes, I did. Think so. <laughs> Can I die by cactuses? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably. Yeah. yeah. It makes the blood. <laughs> On my forehead. No, it just gets really turned on. That's it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Watch them find you and they're just like. <laughs> Let him kill himself. What the <laughs> what is this guy doing? <laughs> Sky's red. No, I, I, it's it's lame. Um, it's, it's an fucking, archetype, right? It's fucking lame, yeah. So nobody can ever do it again? Nobody can ever have that archetype? I I think you can do it again. Do better! The yeah. cult is cool! Use the cult! You have a cult! <laughs> Silent Hill! Well, I guess I can't have a big intimidating enemy. A scary shit of it. Well, Just don't make it like, and... oh, it's the repressor of your guilt, because that's what Travis happened to Travis. Travis has no rel- Travis didn't do, like, Travis had childhood trauma, um... Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. and 
Murphy was Amnesia Man with the Sins. Um, mm -hmm. uh, just you can't just uh, you can't just like throw Amnesia Man in a foggy town with a uh, pyramid head archetype, shake it around, and then it's on and he'll come out. I don't know. The the first games right. were cooler. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Walter in four was um, was a satisfying enemy, but he didn't need to be a big monster carrying a big sword. Mm -hmm. People can be scary. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like there have been games that oh, have fuck. done... Oh, boy. <laughs> this is fucking Careful. cool. This is effective right here. Um, that have done, like, a pyramid head style enemies in a way that has been effective, like... There's a character, there's an opponent in Evil Within <laughs> 1 that acts yeah. as a pyramid head, and it's quite fun to fight. Valtiel is a cool-ass monster, um, mm -hmm. but he's not a pyramid head. Like, uh, mm -hmm. he he has no interest in atoning for your sins or anything. Uh, he has a whole different uh, motive. A poop. Very nice. Um, and, like, in 3, there's those big... What are the guys Holy with shit. The big, big double legs? Get the fuck away from me. Tumors? The clo closers. Closers, yeah. Yeah. Um, those guys yeah. are cool. Yeah, yeah. And then there's that really big one in, like, the train car? Insane Cancers, yeah. 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 That's when there's the anime design actually tied to uh, the protagonist. Mm -hmm. Which was cool. Um, four really didn't do that. One doesn't do that. Nope. Just get ghosts. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Ghost. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what kind of Tunes bullshit is this? <laughs> I just flipped the lid up a little bit. <laughs> If I was a, a P Facebook person, I would be like, get out of there. <laughs> my, my, I'm not going to pull you come out on. of there. You, you my just eyes get might out. be permanently damaged a little bit, but get out of there. Mm, you're rolling. Nice saving. This oh, is effective. I like this. I think we got a little taste of uh, what the linearity um, <laughs> how it can be, uh, bad, though. Yeah. Again, like, it's, <gasps> it's hey. one of those things of, hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna run into the cactuses. Move slowly and open the door slowly. Uh, yeah, open the door still. No. You're being pursued. Uh-oh. Hang on a second. Uh oh close that door. <laughs> bolt it. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, you showed bolt? Yep. I was, I was being... I was being a little silly, but <laughs> it was actually kind of effective. Alright. Oh, uh, breaking it down. Oh, door he's got you. Oh, I can't close that. Ah, uh, you gotta move the box over. Uh, oh, sir, car, sir, yeah. sir, sir. Sir, help me move this. <laughs> Can you give me a hand? I know you. I know you're doing your thing. Can you get the other Come side, on. please? Seriously, can we? Hop up. Hop up. Hop up. <laughs> He'll never catch me. He'll appear. <laughs> this game looks great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, this game came out 2016. Is that yeah. Better? What's up? Uh, 2016. I think. 2016? Is that what you said? Jesus. 2017. August, uh, April. What's the point of being up here? This is this is the Unreal 3 engine. We're on Unreal 5 now. Yeah. Whoa, holy dude. shit. Like, I think Unreal 4 was out by the time this game came out. So it showcases if you know what you're doing to optimize your engine, you can make a really nice looking game. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Um, there we go. Yeah. 
I see what you guys are saying. Yeah, like, again, I don't think it's a bad game. I think yeah. it's just things about it that it's just like, eh, that's... I wish they would have handled that in a slightly different way. There's a note. Yeah, because I was really excited for this game, and then I just I felt super let down. Is this one of the yeah. best uh, instances of modern horror, you think? I think it's, one I was. The, yeah. yeah, I think the Outlast series is definitely up there. Yeah, it's I'm a contender, to think of, like, I feel. What other heard come, of comes close to it? Because, like... Now, I will say... Yeah. I think I like the Outlast series in the way that it does its stuff better than Layers of Fear. Yeah. I think Layers of Fear is just a little too... <sighs> it's a little... Boring. It's like walking through a fun house, really. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, fun, it's, it's a haunted house. It's, it's like, it's scary, house. but it's like there's no risk of you dying exactly. or losing or... Yeah. And once you know that, it kind of ruins it, which is why fun houses are not super yeah. scary unless they're like sort of implying threats to your life or you know, just you really, think, really scary, you know? Do you think that finding the right way to go is part of the fun? Because I, I imagine a speedrun of this game is boring as fuck. You just know exactly where to go. Oh, yeah. I have to imagine. Like, like, yeah. Yeah, like what I'm experiencing right now, I have no idea where to go. I'm just kind of right. like looking yeah, at you're, stuff. And you're I, in this panic state of like, where do I go? That's the experience, that's what right? Which is the first game. Intention. Um, but it gets frustrating here. Yeah, I can see this being frustrating. I have no idea where to go. <laughs> and imagine three guys chasing you while you're trying to do this. Right. And that's where... And you just keep running into walls and fences and Yo, wall and why trees. Why don't you and... notice me, senpai, and you you <laughs> come to me and show me where the way I'm supposed to go. Oh, I, this is the thing I jumped over. Okay. This is the wrong way. Completely. <laughs> Oi. Homie takes the biggest steps <laughs> of a run I've ever seen. Can we go up here? Come on now. What are you talking about, guys? This shit slaps. <laughs> I wish I could be lost in real life. Was there another path to go when you were up in the barn? I didn't see one. It seems like the most logical choice, though. Oh, am I stuck? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I think you've gone the right way. It's just am I stuck. I guess you can. Uh, it might be an another interact to because that might be a hiding spot. Okay. There you go. Um. Yeah. Like I'm. I'm trying to think of like what other modern horror games exist that are not from existing franchises. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I think Resident Evil's, um... Go. Resident Evil's getting silly. And I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. Resident Evil's getting, getting weird with it, which I think uh, is the best direction for it to go. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, we could have used a sandbag, wild. but <laughs> really, yeah, Resident Evil's getting goofy. I like it. I think the beginning was probably the scariest part. Cause now you have like uh, dolls that are walking around and talking by the sun. It's it's getting silly. Like uh, as long as it's good, like like Resident Evil Four, people argue, oh, it's not a horror game. Was it a good game though? Come on. That's what they said about Six. They said Six wasn't a horror game, but like it's a dope action game. People don't want to admit it. I don't want to comment on six. <laughs> yeah, see? It's a zombie game. You just is shoot five, zombies. Is five fun to play? Because it looks like five it's fun, fun to play. Five is fun to play, too. Yeah. Five's, five's five pretty... Get half the shit that six does, for some reason, even though it's very similar. Um, a six is very... There's a whole uh, two-hour video I watched of why six is... Oh, uh, there's a YouTuber. That's not a good game. Um, Cinnamon's in the game. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I agree. I mean, I it was fun. To, I, I played it with Matt, and we were 
uh, we were laughing at it the whole time. <laughs> I mean, parts of it are fun, and you can get good at it with the um, with the dodge mechanic and stuff. Being yeah, people compare it to like, hey, it's got like bayonetta combat if you can uh, get good enough at it. But I mean, repetitive sequences and being lost and having to look for key items and stuff. Uh, it's got some. It's got some uh, detriments for sure. But was it fun to go through with my friend? Yeah, I'd rather go through five again than six, but... <laughs> Oi! Oh, oh boy. Behind, behind you? Yeah. Yes, that's oh. what I wanted oh. to do. Yes. Oh, no. oh, here's it. They said, mm mm. Um. Oh, no. Four was fucking a game changer for games in general. Mm -hmm. Four started the over the shoulder shooter, which you would not have Gears of War, etc. <laughs> without Resi 4. Yeah. And it's like, um. Yeah, was it a horror game? Absolutely not. Was it fun? Mm -hmm. Was it a good game? Yeah, it was. Um, get silly. Yeah, I, I don't mind an entry getting silly every once in a while. You can't have zombies all the time. Yeah. Can't have uh, spooky well, and also over and over again. change up, change up the formula of the things you fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To your That's point, what like, good about they it. don't want to fight zombies all the time. Yeah, they introduced so many different things. Mm hmm. But then, Chris, why are you so pissed off they're making a new Silent Hill? Church. No. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> well, it's... It, I think it's one of those ones where... It, it would be one thing of, like, it would be nice to go into... A new Silent Hill with like excitement. It's just like, yeah, new Silent Hill. Yeah. But now we have to go in like barriers up, ready to be like mm, mm, mm. cautiously optimistic. Or, yeah. You know or what? Cautiously pessimistic, maybe. You know what? Um, Silent Hill Book of Memories, which is a dungeon crawler. Mm hmm. I've never played it myself, so I can't vouch if the gameplay and stuff is good, but I don't mind that. You know? It, it, it's it's not setting out to be a better horror game than Silent Hill 2, which I think a lot of them go, okay, we gotta make Silent yeah. Hill 2 again, but got better. It. It's uh, it's it not goes. even it's not even it's not even in the same realm. It's not even trying to do that mm -hmm. at all. Which I <laughs> hell yeah, good on you. Yep. I, I wish I could play it myself. Silent Hill the arcade, like sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, the concept works. Camera and then flashlight. There we go. Let's see. Trying to think of like horror games that are comparable to this one, though. No. No. Just think of like Alien Isolation, no. Evil Within. Damn. Oh, oh that was sick. Oh, there he goes. Um, you know what I find funniest about Alien Isolation? <laughs> it's made by a strategy game developer. Really? It's made by the team that worked on the Total War games, but it's yeah. the, one of the best survival horrors ever. It is. God. Mm. The AI is dope. The, the technology that they recreated is dope. They nailed like the I... 80s futuristic world and the VHS looking effects. I want to meet the guy who programmed the alien in that game and just like, okay, how? Yeah. How'd you do it? Because oh. it feels like someone is playing as the alien almost. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like... One I that I would say um, is it. a modern horror, but in sort of a different, slightly yeah. different genre type is The Forest. Hmm. Yeah. There's um, also the uh, forest is good at being scary. I need to get more of the story though. I've I've just been like roaming. I, I haven't really found everything I've wanted to, but 
Oh, I bet yeah, if just... you mention that, Heartzone, people of Heartzone would love to start up another server. Or this. Yeah, especially after, like, uh, once we, uh, fin finished it off and, like, understood a few, like, we learned a few things about the way, just the way the enemies behave a little bit, we, we figured out, like, okay, like, we can streamline part of this and just focus on, um, helping people get uh -oh. the story beats and stuff. <laughs> Andrew, um, I was talking with Joey, we were, uh, we were driving, and, uh, he goes, yeah, I looked at that, uh, Conan Exile server, and I had to say, no, Joey, you don't have time, <laughs> and I was like, oh god, you should not let Andrew know that. <laughs> he would love to play that with you, I'm sure. Well, no, I I literally uh, put it out there of like, hey, I'm I'm back in, and like it was the difference of um, I was hosting at that time, so I could just mod it into Oblivion like I always like to do with Conan. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> oh once gosh. he gets his laptop, I'm sure he'll That's be a dope game, super dope. Um, yeah, no, Conan's one where you can just sort of dump time into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I lost my life to that game. I mean, that was... I didn't even get into, like, the dungeons and the deeper <laughs> stuff in the game. Like, I was just getting, well, like, the base floor and... There's so much people hidden, and... hidden stuff in that game. It's a well-done game in that genre. It's really hard to make and... a good game in that genre. Uh, like a story like... game. There's an entire other side of it that um, I never really experienced because it's not hey, Miles. Um, my my cup of tea. Yeah. Wait, Miles the, Upshore is that? Does that name sound familiar? That's the first guy. That's the, oh. the guy from the first game. Uh, a Twitch user named Miles Upshore is now following. Hey. Thank you, Miles. What's up? Yeah, this is our All first right. uh, playthrough of this. Um. There's, like, for Conan, there's a huge PvP community. Oh, yeah. Um, there's this one YouTuber really? who just... He makes videos about story... Stories of different servers he goes to. Um, and, like, the PvP battles that he uh, gets involved with. Because there's this whole community around PvP battles and blowing up each other's bases. Oh, no, yeah. and, really? It's like there's one video from him that's an hour and a half long, and it's just a movie of the greatest um, server oh, he's been a part of. <laughs> I like scared Arcade that guy. Yeah. I, I made him jump. Too. He fucking bashed me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta find a Yeah, they take that stuff real seriously. The the clan wars and all that. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, you could quit your job and just uh, be part of a clan oh, yeah. the rest of your life oh, yeah. if you wanted to and just live through that. That reminds me of EVE Online. Did you guys ever hear about that? Oh, oh that game. <laughs> that made, that I, made Andrew quiver. I have oh, my thought God. about playing EVE D? like a dozen times, and I've told myself, don't you dare. <laughs> because, like, it sucks you in. It's just like, yeah, spaceships and adventure, and it's just like, you don't understand. This game is ninety percent spreadsheets. Oh really? <laughs> it's it's just spreadsheets, mathematics, and people getting really salty at each other in PvP chat. <laughs> I see uh, oh. I'm kind of alone. Yeah, go ahead. No, sorry. Uh, all of all the resources in Eve. Um, when you die the in fuck? Eve, when you're in a ship. You're gone. There, like, that ship and every contents on it is gone. Ooh. So, they've been able to tie those ships and those attributes to, like, technical, like, translated, whatever the currency is, to the U.S. dollar currency. So there have been wars in EVE that have cost $10,000 in real currency because people are just like, nope, we're going to burn them. And just like two clans clash, and they just waste all their resources against each other. Yeah, that, that's insane. It's uh, <laughs> it's fucking like, crazy. Ooh, you can go through there. Cool. 
Um, anyways, you were saying, Aaron. You know, I liked Blair Witch, and that's another example of modern horror. Mm-hmm. And it's another game that's kind of like this. It's like document stuff with your camera, run and hide when stuff is... I mean, there's kind of combat, but not really. I mean, it did get, like, really good review scores, but for some reason, people, when they talk about it, they, like, hate it. I watched the playthrough of that game look cool. And it's Bloober Team, so, I mean, it's it's the same people that did freaking, uh, Medium. Okay, don't go in there. And it was, like, one of the only horror games that gave me, like, the chills on the back of your neck whenever you hear or see something really scary while you're sprinting through the woods. Oh, yeah, actually. It's black at night. You know? I remember, uh, yeah, you would just see a creature in the corner of your eye. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Like, they captured the movie really well in that game. It's I just look at the sky, save some battery. <laughs> no idea where Follow I'm going. the star. Follow the stars. I'm trying to see. I don't know if you'd call the Metro games horror. I mean, they are kind of horror. Survival horror, yeah. They're survival horror. There's also yeah. examples of horror in games that weren't supposed to be horror. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like I, I pulled up a list here to try and remember what, yeah. what games sort of came out in the last little while. That's Lake Tell right. Innocence was really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, pretty much had the gameplay of The Last of Us, but, you know, with a rat plague and yeah. two kids trying to escape, you know, a medieval clan that was chasing them, trying to kill them, you know? And you have to deal with the rats as well. Prey was pretty dope. Oh, I heard mm. great stuff about Prey. Yeah. I went to a convention and somebody did a whole, um... Jesus, a whole uh, like talk about why uh, Prey was one of the best survival horror games we've gotten in a long time. Hmm? It's like Half Life in space. I mean, it's it's pretty crazy. Oh my God, it's fucking dark. It's dark. Holy crap, Lois. Um, I think at the same time, the other thing that happened during um, sort of this era. What is everybody's opinion on the Five Nights at Freddy's game? Well, that is a modern horror, I guess, yeah. Um, I don't think anything... The first... The guy who made it, um, I don't think anything like that's been done uh, before, so, like, dude made it... set in his room and made up a whole genre of horror, honestly. Yeah. Um, time management horror that's pretty much mm -hmm. if you boil it down that's what it is um big big credit to him um mm -hmm. it's for that first like game. literally yeah literally yeah. <laughs> time management horror like like who the funk mm -hmm. um i think yeah um another example of something that i think sets out to do something and does it well uh, mm -hmm. I, I haven't played it myself. Um, I think it targeted itself to the exact right demographic. Um, mm -hmm. Major props to that guy. Yeah. Yep. That's got to be it. If I, I, can I don't. Way back to the elevator. Oh, I have to. Okay. There we go. Power's on. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think horror is the most moldable uh, genre there is. Like, oh, honestly, uh, that might be a big blanket statement, but, um, is this happening? Sorry, it's hard to focus. Um, because mm -hmm. here you go, ti time management, horror simulator, yeah, Inscription, um, mm -hmm. another game that I really want to get and play through, um, it's 
a fucking card game. Like, <laughs> but yeah. it's effective if you could get it working. Um, uh, what's going on here? Fucked. Right, lady. What, what do you guys think? Well, I try to focus on this. Um, I think I. So I've never played them myself either. I, with those games, I I found it a lot more fun to just like watch people play them. Yeah. Um, yeah. And just experience through that way. YouTube um, bait. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> like that's the thing. Hey, get your get, get your, your fucking bag. get your bag. Like both, like Scott made his bag. Like guys like Markiplier made his bag. Okay. Um, like don't be fun either. You you did your thing, and you had fun doing it. Um, yeah. No, I I think they're like it was a really cool concept. I think. The biggest thing is that, um, will be oh yeah, that's a Reaper lady. Um, yeah. I feel like there's the only thing that I'm kind of iffy on is there's just been a few too many of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's just been a lot. Well, I think I think they said, "Oh, this formula works. Let's make 20. Um, yeah. That's the thing. Like, if if it's like if it's gonna keep making you money, no reason not to keep going. Yeah, but it felt like he never like uh, improvised and figured out like a new twist to the concept. It felt like he just repeated mm -hmm. over and over instead. Like, if he had come up with something, a new innovation in the way you manage your time, that would have been dope. Put yourself in yeah. his shoes, though. Like, uh, Five Nights at Freddy, your game you made, fucking blew the fuck up. And then yeah. you're sitting there yeah. in your chair with a fucking wallet full of money that just flies in. You, you're gonna make a second one. <laughs> yeah. No, and, there's no fault there. It's yeah. just like he should have made it better, I guess. I don't know. Or different. I, I don't know much about that whole series, um, but doesn't so, the second one add new characters and second um, one different adds stuff? New characters and a one or two new mechanics, such as like when the 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 mechanical monsters get cro close, you can put a helmet on to sort of like um, give yourself a moment to uh, hide, and then there's an additional Damn. mechanic about this guy died um, for his battery. Mm -hmm. I like um, I like that. Oh, why did he have a battery? Oh, it was probably for his no, flashlight. <laughs> that's that's clever. Oh, Take boy. that, haters. <laughs> so there is one game in the series that sort of remixes the formula and um Oh no! Tongue monster! Oh, the leeches! The Dementors, oh. they were scary! God the Dementors were scary. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what the hell? There is one game in the series that changes up the formula where you're not just in an office managing cameras. It's the most recent one, Security Breach. Yeah. The problem is Security Breach is also the most buggy one of the entire set. Um, I, I watched a video on it of just like all these things that kind of just don't work about it um so the catholic school you. the way to success what would jesus do what a bunch of school stuff here <laughs> wow box transitions have been pretty cool mm -hmm. oh yeah um, yeah i think horror yeah. lends itself uh, to almost any genre really well like a papers please horror game could work <laughs> if a card if you can make a horror card game <laughs> yeah what ah uh, oh, man i keep talking about inscription but it's it's like the next game i want to buy mm -hmm. um yeah that would be fun yeah this is where they introduce 
a monster. Nice. Yeah. He saw a mummy monster. This one, this one's cool in design, as I remember. I mean, there's games I don't like. Id. Um, wait, what's that Yumaniki like game? That's uh, it's like two letters. I think it's ID. Id. Ig. Oh, something. It just came from here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's technically a horror game, right? And that's like a top-down walk-around game. Uh, the Witch's House uh, is another one I've heard of, never played. I don't even know what it looks like. So that that's the other thing that we got in recent years, is the rise of independent um, horror stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, where there's just been like so many of those that have done really well. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, the music box. Jessica fucking loved the song. <gasps> Mm. <laughs> He's angry. Angry little minotaur, man. Hey, I'm a minotaur. I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> I had a great day. I am um, a minotaur. I'm fucking pissed yeah. off. Oh, and one that um, sort of came out during that time and then um, we're now expected to soon see... Um, a remake for is Dead Space. Yeah, I think yeah. Dead Space is fine, but it holds up. What I think, yeah, it it holds up. Am I interested to see what they're gonna do with the remake? Yeah, do I think it needs a remake? Absolutely not. Um, they're no. going to they're going to mess with the narrative. They're gonna make uh, Isaac talk, which is weird. Um, yeah, don't. Don't make him talk. No, they, they already said they're going to. Um, well, Tongue Monster. Though. Wow. Yeah, he taught, but he, like, it was one of those things where he, he started talking in two. Yeah. Um, but it almost kind of felt earned. Yeah, he was a man of few words. And yeah. I think one is the best, two is pretty good, and three, I didn't even bother playing. I, you know what killed three for me? Completely What's killed that? my interest in three for me. I watched uh, me and my girlfriend at the time. We were super excited for like, oh, cool, more Dead Space. And then I heard in an interview. Um, now we had to remake the whole formula, and uh, and since it's co-op, like it right? And uh, we were trying to think. Yeah, monsters are scary. Being alone is scary. But like, what's more scary than being alone? Um, being like. Uh, learning that your friend might be hurt that's that's scary that's real fear and i was like no it's not <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a virtual friend being in uh, danger that's i, mm, I don't know where to go. yeah um i i've heard it as like you can kind of compare Dead Space to. Hey, uh, I want to make sure. Aka, Aka, Kasha. Thank you for the follow. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I've heard Dead Space series kind of compared to the way Aliens or the Alien series goes, where the first one's a really good horror game. The second one's a uh, has horror elements, but is. Um, almost more of a great action thing, and then three is kind of where it starts to fall apart. Aliens. Yeah. So alien. Yeah, aliens oh, aliens the movie. Three. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Compare the first entry, Dead Space One, and Alien to each Correct. other. They get off the rails. <laughs> oh no, <he's> coming. <laughs> Me when my. When the microwave dings and my and chicken nuggies are ready, <laughs> so you can look at your <laughs> your captor. 
That's my face when the microwave dings on, and my nuggies are ready. Just call bread. Up on the cheese in the microwave. It's bread. Or my YouTube. That's the face <laughs> my cheese makes when it melts. I mean, they are going to make the uh, delimbing a little more intricate, which is be amazing. Wait, what are we talking so about? The mechanical, the lighting features that they're about to introduce are going to be. Oh, right. Yeah, that's stuff what we didn't have in 08. Like, because if mm. if you actually look back at the game, yeah, sorry, it man, doesn't me. have the greatest lighting. It's like. It has lights, but like there's not pitch black areas and like kind of dark areas. You know, we're gonna see a greater detail in terms of that, especially yeah. with like ray tracing. Like, it's gonna be a whole new world. I wish if I got if I got my wish, just remake Dead. Oh, okay, just remake Dead Space with better lighting and um, yeah. more modern textures and stuff. I think that'd be cool. I think the game holds up well. See, like that's a remake. Mm -hmm. Talking, talking about remakes again. That's a remake where I don't like. What do you guys think? Do you think it's gonna replace the original, or the original still gonna hold value on it? I think the original's still good. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna. gonna be. Yeah, both both will have their own merits. I don't think I like Resi Two. It's a dope exactly. remake, yeah. but you can still go back and play original, original two and be. That's two, yeah. that's like the bar right now for me, um, basing yeah. remakes off of, because um, Resi Two original and Resi Two remake are different games with the same story, um, mm -hmm. completely different games, just based in the same story. Um, where I think the original still holds a lot of value if you wanted to play it. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, RE2 Remake is also pretty cool, too. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's it's kind of guiding me this way, towards this door. Yeah, that's... Oh, what, what developer was that? that? It was Valve. Valve figured out that if you put light sources over stuff, players will know to go to that spot. Oh my oh god, yeah. yeah. Left 4 Dead 1 had a developer's commentary. The orange box had a <sighs> developer's commentary that was so just interesting content. to listen to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you like colors too. That Where does it to go? Uh, like a red door or something. Yeah. Excuse me. Pardon me, sir. Sir? Pardon me? Sir? sir? Excuse me? Um, Think about how Mirror's Edge works, where oh my the god, in red, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. for different colors for different areas. Yeah. It draws your attention. You always know where to go. Yeah. But yeah, go ahead, Andrew. Um, the developer commentary on Left 4 Dead is incredible because there's like an entire little documentary that you can watch about them making the game. The amount of things and like details that they thought about. Well, one of the biggest things was um, when you shoot a zombie, depending on the direction that you shoot it at and what you're hitting it with, it falls in different ways. Because they had a stunt guy in a mocap suit fall like 400 different ways to figure out like how does that work. Yeah. Um, Aaron, have I ever sent you the video of the comparison between Oh Left yeah, Dead 2 and Back for Blood? That is a great mm -hmm. fucking video. Oh. Oh, don't tell me this is why everybody hates Back for Blood. I hate Back for Blood. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! I, it's it's one. I love things. it. I don't get it. I don't get why everybody. You love it so much. Why aren't you playing it right now? <laughs> and what they want for the future of their series? I don't understand why people oh hate God. it though. I, I'm gonna find this video. I totally still. I they made it. No. Everybody said it's okay. fake and that it's. Andrew, there's one shot in that video <laughs> that I know that we're both thinking about. Because Is it the ending one yep. with the credits? The credits. <laughs> Oh boy. There's about. <laughs> let's say there's 500 people that worked on Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. And, uh. Yeah. What's it called? Back for Blood team, uh. Yeah. Pretty much. Three. Three people from the original Left 4 Dead team still work at, at Turtle Rock. Three. Same everybody else. Worked, Hill, they, everybody you know, else. Worked for and, Valve. They, and they didn't. Yeah. Listen, I'm not. <laughs> and work for Valve. <laughs> 
And yeah. even some of the directors on Left 4 Dead were just like, oh, you're making a new studio? Nah, I don't really want to do Turtle Rock 2.0. I was happy with what we accomplished. Yeah. Um, I don't know. They're so... So, uh, Left 4 Dead 2 is one of the most polished that I can I, 10 years later, 10 years later, I'll happily pop on Left 4 Dead 2 and go for rounds. Back for Blood feels clunky and uh, it, the I don't think it lends itself very well to a, a skill tree. The cards are kind of cool, but I don't the cards know. provide replayability. That's what. That's what makes it more interesting. I've been playing Left 4 Dead 2 for 10 years. Scenario changes, maybe you have silencers on your guns or something. Or a mutated zombie is coming after you in this one. But... Cool concept. Yeah. Action Left 4 Dead 2 has that <laughs> in the form of the director. Where depending yeah. on how well you are doing in the match, the director will throw in additional stuff. Or take things away depending on how well you're doing. I've always liked that. Mm -hmm. I don't want Aaron to feel like we're ganging up on him. I, I'd, I'd be yeah, really no, interested like, to hear, Aaron, um, your thoughts on that video. Yeah. What's happening? Are we trying to break the floor? Okay. Uh, we're trying to turn no clip on them. <laughs> <laughs> Just no clip out of here. I'm getting a fucking no clip out of here. Um. Yeah, like I, I personally haven't actually played Back for Blood, so I don't really know how I feel about it. And to be fair, I just played yeah. the I played the beta and one match. Oh, of it's way different oh, from the beta. No, I played the beta and, and one match the of the final release. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I don't really. Because the beta was buggy and it was weird. Also, there was that. Level with the ship. I think it put a bad taste in my mouth. The level with the ship. Um, but that's classic Left 4 Dead. We, I couldn't beat it because uh, it just kept spawning. I don't think the director is um, as advanced. I don't mm. like. I couldn't beat it. There, literally, me and Ari tried for like over an hour to beat that section, and uh, we couldn't do anything. It, it, it would just load fucking level three bad guys until we couldn't move we couldn't progress we couldn't get the i don't what is it you have to get bombs or something and i think that was all in the beta i'm willing to like, try again I'm i, I try had that again. struggle too but when i got the actual game it was more balanced and that's what betas are for right they're to stress test the game and yes. figure out how to get the balance right so something I that feel like it's weird to be mad over them testing the game so, yeah. something that i um when Halo Reach came out, I was super yeah. upset that it had loadouts like Call of Duty because I was like, I think oh, my yeah. favorite instance of multiplayer right now is um, everybody's on a level playing field and your skills and your mm -hmm. sorry um, but set you apart. Yeah, the, the, your skills you know, are what really um, yes. or, or your time that you sunk into the game getting good at it uh, set you apart from mm -hmm. the other people. Um, oh yeah, but loadouts so oh, made everything different. Obviously, Bungie knows what they're doing, and it worked out for me. And I love Taylor Reach. Um, and it wasn't a thing of you could customize your loadouts. It was just whatever yeah. game type you loaded into had loadouts. Yeah, where yeah. that backfired is when you get to Halo Four and you could customize your loadouts, or like level up your guns. Yeah. I think that's kind of weird. Mm hmm. Hmm. Where are we going here? Came in here. I think they got their their balancing better and like I feel like the way the shooter plays is like it feels like less like the source engine and it feels smooth like a Call of Duty. Like the gunplay, reloading your gun, the animations. It's the next generation of zombie shooters. So I feel like it's a it's what I've always wanted from is the next because we're never getting a left for dead three it's just not gonna happen valve is never gonna do it yeah it's like, so, i mean it this sucks. is close as it gets so it's like you either get this or you pack your bags and go home yeah it it sucks what happened with valve because like 
Man, I love Valve, uh, but it, oh yeah, you know, I think uh, you, one of them even said it's just Portal Three. Like, it's like not uh, worth the money for the like they just make more money focusing on Steam than they do Steam. making games. Well, That's a shame. Starting to let like Team Fortress Two fall by the wayside. Yeah, yeah. I thought they would never do. Yeah, they're okay. having a serious botting problem right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, the little cart in the center there, I think you can move it. The cart? Ah, that cart. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Shit. Hey! What are you doing with that cart? I thought I noticed that I thought the handprints correlated to something. Oh, you, uh, oh, never mind. I was like, you, you, you just want to sing your song? You don't really care about me? He was going to be nice, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's kind of true. She just doesn't want me near her. Uh, he's not going to, like, pursue. You got a boundary thing, huh? Fair enough. We respect boundaries here. <laughs> Goodness. Good thing she keeps cutting us. Same arm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Resident Evil 8 and Resident Evil 7 and 8 had syndrome. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Poor guy's hand. Good thing I can pour all this shit on my own. <laughs> Grow my hand back. Oh, leaf hunters. Is there anybody in chat has any uh, opinions? Back for Blood, Left for Dead, Valve, the state of Valve, Steam, <laughs> botting. Yeah. Embodying. Embodying. Oh, one mirror's edge. One thing I can, uh, Ooh, mirror's edge was fun. Talk about there. I, I think I said it to Aaron. Oh, out of boy. the way. Watch out for her. Out of the fucking way. Come on. Um, I recently I reinstalled Halo Infinite to go like just check out. Hey, what do you, what do I need to do to get this new the cool armor thing that I wanted to get? Um, yeah. It yeah. looks like it's a limited time event, and then I was just like, well, you know what, like, I'll, I'll see when the next time trial for this um, thing is on, and I'll just go play a match. I loaded into a match of Fiesta, I was just like, I just want to play Fiesta and have fun and play around with the guns again. Yeah. Fiesta has become so fucking sweaty, yeah, I cannot is. believe it. Really? It's just like, guys, this is Fiesta. It don't yeah. matter. What right? do you mean just Fiesta? It's just like, who cares? We get random loadouts. And like, <laughs> people are like. No, it's tied to the challenges. And defensive. And it's just like, what happened? <laughs> like, when's. Like. Bro, relax. It's Griffball. Bro, I think stop. That's like a community issue. That's that's like. Go, go. Or like, tying go. rewards to that is a bad idea, maybe. That's making everyone know. so sweaty. Throws like, controller as well. Dude, yeah, it's Griffball. Like. Oh, that's weird. You can push um, objects to the left by pressing Alt. Is that what it's on? Because once they added, like, Team Slayer and other stuff. It would. They got a little better. Yeah. And they're slowly adding more modes, but there's still a lot. There you go. It's a very incomplete game, I think. Yeah. It's free. Like, though. I, um, I did get a chance to play the new. Um, I think one of the new big team maps. It's a fun yeah. map. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, those are dope. It's fun as fuck um, that game, but. Yeah. Man, I it's such a sad down. state to see Halo in. Well, hopefully, pay whenever, the, pay whenever we get Forge and all that, it'll yeah. help. They've made a lot of advancements on Forge. Co-op campaign is coming soon? Ooh, I ooh. think I read. You too. Yeah. Um, next, year, next month. Oh, is it? Okay. It's in beta. What was that thing where it was Halo 3, before Halo came to Steam at all? It was Halo 3 remade uh, with oh, an online server. What was that thing. called? Halo Online, yeah. I think. That was incredible. Yeah. 
Yeah, that yeah. was really cool. That was Halo, made by, f remade by fans. Um, yep. With little tweaks to like, I think they just added a few weapons and stuff, but mm -hmm. kept the whole core of the game the same. I think. Man, I think uh, actual devs, like big budget devs, can learn a lot from that. <laughs> That was fun as fuck. The Forge and the custom games, they just <laughs> let everything loose. I didn't want to do that. Okay, this is I officially... Guess. I think the furthest I've made it in this game was the uh, uh, elevator. The generator. North. What? Who's there? Dude, relax, Julius. dude. Julius. It's Griff Ball. <laughs> oh, gosh. If they had Griff Ball and Firefight. Anybody's father, I just Firefight's one where I'd love to see what Firefight feels like. Yeah. The Firefight would be fun. North is coming back. Can I kill you? With Mary. They've done one thing right. They finally got the feel down. Yeah. Again, like, that's the, game the biggest plays thing. They, good. Fixed, they fixed the hardest part, which is making F Halo feel good and, like, still be new and innovative, but, like, still feel fun to play. And sprinting and sliding. Part first. And then yeah. all the other stuff is just like, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, they just didn't. They they shipped it too early because they were just like, well, we need to have a an exclusive out. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Sell Mister? Xboxes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, um. Honestly, and I I will I will also give them credit. Like the experience of like you get a battle, you get a battle pass, you own that battle pass for life. And that's pretty cool. Put stuff into it. Honestly, so and if you just love there. Halo. If you just love core Halo, you don't have to pay for anything. <laughs> yeah. All That's cosmetic true. shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And eventually, like, uh, over time, eventually Whoa. you will earn oh, everything. It. Yeah, that's the main pastor. Sure. The skull, not the actions of a woman unburdened by an immaculate conscience. Yeah, the game has a ton of potential. <laughs> I think it's like, at the end of the day, they made a good Halo game. Mm -hmm. they did. Um, I've only played the multiplayer myself for this uh, point of view, but they made a they made a solid, fun fucking Halo game. Um, but then the, the business side of it, the, the guys in the suits are like, well, let's do it yeah. this way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Papa Microsoft needs some money to accrue for the multiple billions of dollars we just spent on buying Bethesda. Yeah. Is that what happened? <laughs> yeah. It's not oh my god. Yeah, I want to see that Bethesda conference. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> what happens if I exit right now? Hey, everybody. Hey, boys. <laughs> hey, boys. <laughs> Bet you didn't know I was listening in the whole time. <laughs> he slapped me once. Hey, what's do up? you think? God. <laughs> do you think we'll get um, Starfield gameplay, Aaron? It, man, if it's coming out next year, it's like you you better better show something. Because mm -hmm. they've just been showing us like really small teases. <laughs> Like, I don't even know what kind of space-age game it is. Yeah, we're just assuming it's like Fallout and Skyrim and stuff, yeah. you know? Because, like, well, and the, that's what we know. I, I also want to know, like, what level of space faring technology do we have? Mm -hmm. Are we going, like, um, faster than light travel, warp travel? Like, yeah. Are we still using ballistics on our guns? Are we going all the way to laser guns? <laughs> I don't know. There's no clue. Yeah, I, I I think they should show it. If they, yeah, I mean, they almost have to. Cause, like you can't live off speculation for. And what else would they have to like aside from that? Elder Scrolls Six is probably too early. Yeah, the most they could do is show like another teaser. The other thing they can do is announce a remake to Quake. 
made made by the team that was worked on all the Doom, Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Yeah. Um, they could do that for Quake. Um, yeah. Indiana Jones game could get a, a some gameplay or Do they own the rights to that? Well it's uh it's machine gun games that did okay. Wolfenstein. Oh yeah. They're doing Indiana Jones, which I'm I'm very concerned but optimistic. Yeah, like the newer Wolfenstein's were cool and good games, but not machine gun games. Machine games, gosh. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like will they do an FPS? Third person? Who knows? I, I feel like you like if you're making an indie game, you gotta do it in third person. Yeah, that's what I think. But they're so adept at first person that I, I really don't want like a Wolfenstein Indiana with a whip. <laughs> well, like I think what probably everybody would want out of the game is just like, just try. I hope it just feels like an Uncharted game. Yeah, mm. pretty fun. Let's solve cool puzzles and uh, beat up Nazis and mm -hmm. drive cars real fast and mm -hmm. do death-defying stunts. You know, adventure for treasures. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Hey, what's up? Oh, bet you didn't. Th oh shit! Wow. I clicked uh, because I was <laughs> adjusting the sound, and then uh, <laughs> it, it made me exit. Oh, we're gonna have to watch that whole thing again. <laughs> yep, guess gotta wait. Oh my god, dude, this rules. Um, <laughs> 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 I was thinking about calling it anyway. I think that's like again. Yeah. You made it farther than you ever. A little had. five hour stream. Little quick little five yeah. hour. Stream. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what? A, yeah. Five hours of night. It's already one a.m. Yeah. Let's see. Mm -hmm. We got any Heart Zone alumni on? Who's on? Who's streaming? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Don't see anybody. We got Geisha Monroe. I'm gonna send you over to Geisha. Um, go go. Nice. Thank you, guys. And I want to yeah. shout out over here. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, Aaron. Hold on. We got A64, right? You can check out Aaron's YouTube over there. Oh. And Acting Relic over here. And uh, we've been doing this cool little uh, weekly horror stream thing. We're making our way uh, through Fatal Frame 1, if you... Uh, Missed that we did a little bit of that earlier, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, we just started out last just to kind of see what it was like. Yeah, check them out there, and uh, I think we're doing a stream tomorrow of a surprise game mm -hmm. if uh, we can get the necessary people coming through. Yeah, um, oh shit, that didn't load okay. Anyway, um, here is our Discord, and it's not a Discord centered around any one of us, it's just a place where we hang mm -hmm. out, if you want to talk with us, play some games with us. Alright. Anything you guys want to say? This was fun! Yeah, was this was super time, fun. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, have a good rest of your night, thank you for joining, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye! Bye stream!